Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to another stupid series. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about a particular type of person. Um, we all hear of conspiracy theories and, and uh, some of them more valid than others, but I want to talk about the theorists themselves. And the reason being is last week when the Boston bombings happened, uh, within hours on Facebook and on the internet there was theories that the, the government were behind the attacks. And all I could think was, to, to what end? And, and then the next thing that came to my mind was, what was going through these theorists' minds? What, what were they thinking? Did they hear of the bombings? And rather than their hearts going out immediately to the families, uh, to the poor victims, uh, to what possessed the bombers to do it, no, no, their mind went, let's see if we can blame the government. Okay, so let's, let's look at the evidence that we have, even though it's at the moment sketchy at best, even the authorities know very little, and we'll assign the blame to the government and we'll say that they want something from the people and the only way to get it was by bombing innocent individuals at a marathon. The average person is thinking, how can I help? What can I do? Um, I hope this doesn't happen to me. Or maybe because there's a series of marathons going on all over the world and you might be partaking or you know someone's partaking, you'd immediately worry about your friends and family or yourself. But you wouldn't be thinking, who can I blame next? But this one hasn't yet taken over the people. The one that has, the one the whole world is aware of as a conspiracy, and a huge amount of people are behind, is that the American government were behind the 9-11 attacks. I mean, let's look at this from start to finish. So George W. Bush sat at the table with his top advisers, and they're all sat there. Not one of them is allowed to have a conscience in any of this. Not one of them. So they all sit there discussing how they're going to go to war with Afghanistan. And one of them pops up and goes, look, it's not ideal, but if we had a terrorist attack in this country, that would spur everyone on. Get behind the American people, let's snuff out this terrorism, and we've got a reason to go to war. And George Bush's response, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Carry on, let's hear more. How big a terrorist attack? Pretty big, because we need to rile up the whole country. What are you thinking? Um, bomb going off in the city centre. Whoo, bigger than that. Bigger than that, eh? Um, blow up a bridge? Whoo, no. Not enough people are going to die in that one. Well, how many people need to die? Um, let's go with, let's say minimum a few thousand. We'll aim for three. Well, that's a, that's a lot of people. Yeah. But we've got 250 million people in this country, so don't worry about that. So before we go any further, what's your plan so that we might kill 3,000 people? Oh, um... Oh, now I feel like I'm on the spot. No, no, don't worry, just go on. We'll all listen. Yeah, but this is embarrassing. What if you don't like it? No, these four walls, it won't go any further. We'll listen. We won't judge you. All right, all right. Um, okay, so the basic idea is this. Um, we have Islamist extremists, terrorists effectively, and we train them up to become pilots, and they take two planes and they fly them into the Twin Towers. They do what? Whoa, 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 just hear the plan. They take the two planes, fly them into the Twin Towers, and they take another plane, hijack that one as well, and they fly it into the Pentagon. You can't be serious. No, no, no. Yeah, look, think, think about it carefully. If they attack the Twin Towers and destroy them, then they've attacked not only the people, but the financial uh, hub of this country, the sort of symbol of wealth that we have. And if they attack the Pentagon... That's a symbol of our military might. They'll have attacked those two fronts, people will feel vulnerable, and we'll be free to do whatever we want. Whatever we want. Oh yes, whatever you want. Whatever I want. Oh yes, whatever you want. You'll be able to do whatever. It's food for thought. Let me put it to the rest of the group, see how they're feeling. So at this point, everyone in the room would have to be in agreement going, yep, yeah, that this is a brilliant idea. Love it, the flawless. Someone would then have to go, well, hang on a second, is there any flaws in the plan? To which they'd go, um, a few. If we're tied to this in any way, we'll all be taken before international law courts for acts of terrorism ourselves. Um, so we, we must disassociate ourselves completely from it. O agreed? Good. Okay, so we'll do that. Next. Um, apparently, steel burns at a very high temperature and jet fuel doesn't burn that high, so we're going to have to pack the Twin Towers with explosives. Okay, is, is that not a giveaway? Well, no, because we won't tell anyone and no one will come out, no one will come forward with it. Okay, um, how do we know that? 
we'll kill them all. Won't that be obvious? Um, hmm. Maybe. Well, if they're all dead, they can't talk about it. Next thing that's going to have to happen. They then have to pack the Twin Towers with explosives. Now, think about all the people that have to be involved in that. Explosive specialists. And they'd have employers, the government, and they'd go, should we be doing this? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but why are we doing it? Don't ask questions, and I'll tell you no lies. But then there's the managing staff of the Twin Towers. Uh, what are these um, explosive experts doing in the Twin Towers, packing, packing the building with explosives? Don't worry about that. Well, I am worried about that because this is my building. Look, just don't be here on September the 11th. But well, why? Just, just don't be. Alright then, I won't be. So the managing staff would have all had to have survived because they'd be aware of what was going on. And not one of them could have a conscience. Not one. Because if they did, game over. So I'm going to keep coming back to this. If any one person from the start to finish had a guilty conscience and was compelled to come forward to blow the whistle on the whole lot, and there would have been a lot of people involved in this, a heck of a lot, then the whole thing would come crashing down around them. There's too many people that would need involving. This conspiracy doesn't hold water. It, it just physically can't. There's no way it could. They would have had to have bought up. Are there any long-term ramifications in this plan that are just are going to be terrible for America? Um, one, and they would have all had to have come to the conclusion that by destroying the physical symbol of America's wealth, the Twin Towers, the financial hub of America, and in part the world, by doing that, they would throw not only themselves, but almost the rest of the world into financial chaos over the next, well, so far we're 12 years later, but this could go on for another 10 years quite easily. And at the end of it all, China is becoming financially more powerful than any other country. So effectively what they're doing is throwing away their financial power and giving it to another potentially bigger, more powerful world power. No chance. No chance would they have gone, let's do that. Because they are borrowing so much off of China to recover from their situation. And China are rubbing their hands together. They can't believe it. Because the amount of interest they're making back on this is huge. So I'm sorry. There is no way on God's green earth that that is a viable and logical conspiracy theory. So the conspiracy theorists who came up with this idea, I ask you, please relook at your evidence. Does your evidence outweigh the pure and simple logic of no chance?